Well, this is how we always dress in Texas. Well, not always. Yes, ma'am. I think this convention is a disaster. Uh, I think that they have broken the rules, they have rewritten the rules, they have tried to disenfranchise the delegates and overturn the democratic process. So I don't think it's going very well. And what about Mitt Romney? Do you like him as a, as a the candidate for uh, Republicans? No, uh, I like him more than the current president, Barack Obama, but I think Mitt Romney is the, probably the weakest of candidates we could have put up. Uh, he doesn't represent a very strong contrast from Barack Obama. His economic and uh, military policies are very much the same. Uh, he's the architect with his health care plan for Barack Obama's health care plan. They're more similar than they are different. America really needs a conservative option right now, and the RNC has done everything in its power to stop us from having one. And so I think that's not going to bode very well for us in November, and I think we might have just re-elected Barack Obama today. What do you think about uh, Paul Ryan? Paul Ryan brings definitely a little bit more credibility uh, to the issue. I think Paul Ryan, I don't know him personally, of course, but he seems like a serious and principled man. I don't agree with all of his principles or all of his votes, but he's at least had the courage to say that he's made mistakes on things. And he's voted on TARP, for instance, which he passionately supported. He was able to say later, I shouldn't have done that. And I respect that. I, Mitt Romney, he just flip-flops and acts like he never did. R Ryan at least takes accountability for it. I'm from 75 miles north of Atlanta, Georgia, in a little town with a 300 population, East Elijay. That's spelled E L L I J A Y. East Elijay, Georgia. And I've been coming to th this is my third national uh, convention, and I have supported Mitt Romney for six years. Oh, I've, of course I feel elated because six years ago is when I began my campaigning for him. I campaigned for him four and a half years ago in Des Moines, Iowa, in South Carolina, Florida, and Georgia, my home, my state. And uh, when he won the nomination, over 2,000 votes, uh, delegate votes a while ago, I was, uh, of course, I was very elated. He stands for economic liberty, free enterprise, as opposed to the direction we're now headed in of socialism. This runs against the grain of the American dream of which I am a part. My wife and I have lived the American dream. We started in a shack beside the road. I'm getting off the subject. In a shack beside the road, but now we're a nationally known business in Georgia. Well, our friend in, friends invited us to join the convention. This is our first convention. Yeah, and we have been with the Republican Party for a long time. This is our first time convention. It's very exciting. And Romney will win. Well, Paul Ryan's a good pick, whether he's conservative or not. I mean. He's a good with the budget, and I think he'll do a great job as a vice president. Well, I'm excited. I'm excited. Uh, I'm, I'm part of the, 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 the event here. I'm the Republican candidate for the Mississippi 2nd District, Congressional District. And uh, we're here to elect the next Miss, uh, President of the United States, Mitt Romney. And uh, we're very excited. For Ron Paul? Well, Ron Paul's a good man. I, I, I like Ron Paul. Um, to be honest with you, Mitt Romney was not my first selection, but he's our party's delegate. And once you we, we vote, uh, we all rally behind it. Ron Paul's a good man. Uh, he has a good son, Rand Paul. I understand a lot of his principles, and I support it. But uh, 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 Governor Mitt Romney will uh, is our candidate, and he will follow some of uh, uh, Ron Paul's advice.